All right, in this video, I'm going to show how to widen a stereo image. Uh, basically, what we have here is a guitar um, with a stereo miking. It was not two different takes. It's not doubled. Same guitar take, just two different mic positions that I want to give a stereo image to. So as you see, I have one 100% uh, left and two 100% right. So I'm going to play this, just the dry stereo image. <laughs> Alright, so first thing we want to do is we want to create a mono auxiliary and on our mono auxiliary we want to give the input an available mono bus. So the next available bus is number five. And now on either the guitar left or the guitar right, doesn't make a difference, either or, I want to make a bus, a send to that same bus number, which is bus number five. Hold option. Click my fader, brings me up to Unity Gain. Now I'm not going to hit Follow Main Pan on this because it's mono and there is no pan. All right. So now I'm going to put it on the insert of the mono auxiliary and a uh, mono medium delay. And I tap tempoed this song. It wasn't recorded to click, but nice solid drummer, and he averaged out about 117 beats per minute. So. Now I'm going to go by the 16th note um, rather than going by the 8th. The reason being is it will get into 256 milliseconds of delay time, which won't give me that doubled effect. I've got to go with a small delay time, something you know around 128 milliseconds is fine based off that 16th note to give me more of the doubled effect. The pan of the mono auxiliary, I want to go to the same direction as that it, the guitar I sent it from. So I'm going to break it 100% left. That way, this should start to widen out the image with our quote-unquote dry guitar here, our wet signal being 100% to the left. So let's give it a playback. <laughs> So before, after. so you can hear that it gives a little more depth to the instrument, um, as well as a. It feels though that you're placing that delayed signal a little further back into the speaker so that it gives it a little more separation between the left and right and gives you the feeling of it being wider or bigger. So another little tip to use, um, you know, it works really well with acoustic guitar if you've done a stereo miking pattern, XY pattern. On a acoustic guitar, it's a great little idea to do to either the left or right side.